Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, today we have here a beat up Beta 75X. Um, yeah, it's been through quite a bit. I've crashed it a lot, but man, super, super tough. Um, the new version, it's like more of a, it's like an injection molded ABS or something. It's very resilient. I know my screws are kind of getting loose, but I'd say when you get one of these, make sure all your motor screws are tight. Um, I know mine were kind of loose after a few packs, so make sure you tighten them regularly. Um, I had one come flinging off and then it kind of wrapped up my wires a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I have these other props. I ended up buying these on, I think, race day quads. They're basically just the Gem Fan 40 millimeters. Um, they're the stock replacement, they just come in different colors, so. Yeah, so I managed to rip out my LED board the other day. Check all those wires there. Um, I'm just going to cut them short and reduce the weight, cut the zip tie off, um, and then I'm going to clean up the, the quad a little bit, and then we'll get some flight footage. So here's the cleaned up 75X, ready to fly again. Yeah, almost looks new, kind of nice. So I, <laughs> I uh, took the LED board out, they have a terrible mounting solution on this. It just flies out, goes into your props. I've cut the wire like three times, it kept soldering it back on because I thought it looked cool but it's like, at the end of the day, who cares? I fly mostly during the day anyways. So um, running the Race Day Quads 350 3S. Um, these are the high voltage ones, but I just charge them like normal lipos. Um, I also have a couple more batteries in my pocket. I got just I had two of the Beta 75 or or the Beta FPV 300s, but uh, I ended up I don't know what happened. Oh, I was trying to charge and I touched the banana leads together. Literally shorted out the battery and it didn't work. So so now I'm down to one. So I got three batteries for it. Um, we'll give it a rip and see what you guys think. I haven't switched the the name on the on the screen yet, so you'll get DBR recording and then my commentary. So all right, yeah. Camera colors are funky on here. We'll see how it looks when we get flying. This thing is just so snappy. I just cannot believe how crazy fast it is. I fly kind of with a lot of up tilt on it. I don't know, it's just more fun. Kind of windy out today. 
Um, so it's going to get pushed around a little bit. Um, drying some clothes. A little bit of prop wash there. I'm still getting kind of used to how this thing flies. It just covers so much ground so quickly. Uh, it's just so different than a, like a five inch, you know? I mean, obviously a five inch is fast, but this little guy, and there we go. All right, good thing we have turtle mode. Boom, it's been a lifesaver for this thing. Then I don't have to go walking for it, but the reason I cleaned it is because it lands in the grass like that. It just gets shredded up, tons of. Almost hit that tree. Yeah, sorry, I'm super sketchy. I gotta, I gotta dial the rates or something down. On the, it's just a little too much for me. So sorry if the video's a bit much. Honestly, the range on this 200 milliwatt VTX is pretty darn good. Um, I'm all the way out in the cul-de-sac now. I've gone down halfway down the block and still got reception, which is pretty awesome. So that's cool. But yeah, I don't know, it's just fun cruising this thing around. It's like wicked fast. Don't do too much technical stuff with it. Um, it can totally do it. I'm just kind of a wimp. I like how quiet this thing is, dude. <laughs> Got myself there. Mm. Wash out there. That's all right. Nothing you can't figure out with throttle. All right, better come in. Battery's getting a little low. Load up another battery. That was not so smooth. All right, throw another battery in and. Do another recording. Look at that, you clean it, it's already dirty again. Just ridiculous. Alright, let's go for another one. I'm gonna plug it in. Gotta plug it in. some fancy shit. Alright, we'll do some more stuff with the gazebo. See what we can do. Maybe we'll come flying up over. There we go. Oh, no. Too, too high of an angle of attack. So we're going to come back farther and try it again. Oh, man, the wind. Literally, the wind's carrying me. Try it again, maybe we'll just come around. Go through this gap. Ooh. Oh damn. I tell ya, like I said, this thing tough as shit. There we go. Just mowed the grass, so it definitely helps me get moving again. And I wish these trees weren't so heavily leaved. Then I can do, well, maybe I can go through this one. Oh, man. I feel like a noob. That's what I need to start sh shooting gals. That's what we need to do with this baby. We'll go under the clothes. Yeah, and we'll go in through this little section, we'll go through the gazebo, through there, boom, not bad, I'm going to go through the trucks over my head, and I'm sure the neighbors are like, what the hell is that thing, 
kind of funny. Yeah, it looks like my battery's already kind of low. There you go, you look two minutes of super hard flying. <laughs> I swear I charged it all the way. Just a killer little quad. So much fun flying it. Alright, we're gonna bring it back. We'll just throw another battery in quick. Going back up. I'm just cruising, it's not so bad. I guess I really don't know how much you're supposed to, to land with. And I don't know how accurate the milliamp hour setting. Oh man, bounce straight into the house. Oh great, it's grass on the camera. Now yeah, let's bring her in. right there. Wiped off, should be good to go. Let's do one more pack. The kangaroo hopping over shit like that, pretty fun. Ooh. Yeah, awesome. That was a hell of a head. Flight mode three. Flight mode two. Oh. Flight mode three. I think Flight we might have two. lost a... Uh, bomber. Yeah, it looks like we lost something. So, here I'm raving about how tough these things are. If you hit your prop directly on whatever the hell that was, you will break a shaft. Kind of a bummer. So now I'm gonna have to order a motor, but oh well. I deserve it. This thing's been through, honestly, I felt like I'm pretty lucky considering, because I've hit, I've gone to playgrounds, I've hit poles, head on I've hit like what are those called like the metal gazebos at a park I've hit those I've hit trash cans I've hit telephone poles I've dropped this thing into the ground how many times it's taken a lot of hits before I've actually broken anything so I'm kind of surprised it's lasted this long um be kind of crazy if I could just get a new shaft for it. It kind of looks like it's just glued in. I really don't I don't know if it'll focus, but I really don't know. So if you guys know anything about these motors, let me know, but I'm probably just going to order a couple more just to have on hand, just in case. Still getting used to these goggles. Um, they... I, I get a little blurry vision. I'm going to try the diopters just to see if it helps, like bring my eyes away from the lenses a little bit. I almost feel like I'm too close. I kind of see the double screen still and I can't get the IPDs any closer. I've done the modifications. Um, so I think diopters, if not, I'll probably just get used to it. I've been getting used to it, but coming from the e Eosheen EV800Ds, it's quite a difference in screen size. So I'm still getting used to that. So that might contribute to some of my flying, but I'm just using that as an excuse. So, so you guys can get, give me a break on the flying. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy flying.